Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Salt and Sacrifice. Now, before we uh, go back to Ashbourne Village to possibly fully clear that area, now that we presumably have all the different movement abilities, uh, there are two minor things to get out of the way. First of all, for defeating the nameless Corpumancer last time, I got the Butcher's Mask, um, which I didn't notice or remember at the time that you always get a special headgear. Uh, so this one's not particularly great, I guess. I mean, obviously its defenses don't even compare to our Hydropod head. Um, it doesn't look quite as ridiculous. I mean, in fact, it's, well, I guess it's a piece of cloth in front of the face. So kind of like, uh, isn't it like Chinese zombies that are kind of similar? Or am I thinking of something else? Well, either way, it's a look of those... Uh, those uh, minions summoned by Corpumancers, so that makes sense. Anyway, yeah, it's obviously not good. Mask of a profane butcher, a sworn servant of those hideous creatures that engage in Corpumancy. It is sad that even the gods fear Corpumancy, for it negates the need for the soul of the soul in favor of mundane flesh, which any creature of magical origin can manifest. Hmm. Right. So, that is that. Neat, I guess. Everything else should be fine. Yeah, stashed away all the extra charms and whatnot. Uh, well, I guess I might as well head down to where we need to be, which is the portal. Uh, I'm also going to take another look at the bestiary, because we have met a few new creatures since last time I checked. It's the wrong button. Bestiary, there we go. Um, okay, there's... Honestly, I'm probably just gonna quickly go through all of these. So I'm not entirely sure where there were gaps. I've actually fought another Aeromancer at some point off camera and realized... Oh no, uh, yeah, that was actually on my second character. Now I rem remember. Um, and um, that Paladin character just has a lot less damage and it shows. Um, so, against certain enemies, it's just... I've had a really rough time. Until I uh, got a slightly better weapon, which helped tremendously. Um, but yeah, this this was one of the enemies that gave me the most trouble, for sure, on that character. I feel like I... Well, I suppose there must be other starter classes that just start with pretty powerful weapons. But I feel like I actually made a pretty good choice. Um, I feel like I could have had a much harder time. Well, with the Paladin, for example. But then I'm probably just underutilizing the the blocking mechanic. I've been trying to use it more, and it's it can be useful for sure. But um, yeah. it's rough. It's not. It's definitely not easy mode. These are all. Oh yeah, there's the guy with the mask. Wait, have we seen this one? Shambling guts. Oh yeah, we haven't seen this one. A half-rotted assembly of flesh and guts, haphazardly pieced together from corpumancy materi corpumanced materials. Its skin crawls with maggots and flies, a ferocious buzzing emanating from within. That's absolutely gross. Wow. Oh yeah, I have actually defeated a Sanguimancer, a nameless one, if I, in case I hadn't mentioned that before. I think it was only rank 7 or 8. So it really wasn't particularly tough. I mean, it was still kind of kind of rough with all with those super fast attacks. But at least the rel relatively low rank meant that it had uh, that it didn't have a ton of health. So at least it went down quickly. But yeah, those guys um, still rough. The higher level versions. Anyway, um, of course it didn't drop any unique materials or anything. Nothing we hadn't seen before. Well, wow. no new enemies anywhere to be seen. I know there is a new type of fly, and then of course. Um, the new boss somewhere. Oh, okay. Finally, this guy. Um, Fangbreaker. An elite warrior of the Fangbreaker clan, a martial tribe of the fur clad of Dreadstone Peak. With the fall of the Temple of, Ele of the, the Temple of Eleven, the Fangbreakers seized on the opportunity to retake their land. Alright. Ah. Yakari Ranger. A ranger of the Yakari clan, self-proclaimed most ancient clan of the fur clad of Dreadstone Peak. Only in recent times did the Yakari set aside their differences with the Frankbreaker clan. Oh, okay, so not the same clan. I mean, I guess 
this guy is significantly bigger. I guess also looks maybe a bit more bear-like. Yeah, I suppose. I hadn't really been... Well, I guess I didn't really have a good chance to look at them while I was fighting them, while they were trying to kill me. Um, previously I thought they were all goat people, basically, but I guess not. Ah, yes. Bleeder and Bogfly. That's the new one. Hmm. A foul-smelling, buzzing monstrosity. Bogflies prefer to feed on refuse and rot, but easily digest their living prey with jets of flesh-melting acid. Hmm. Great. Ab abnormality. That one definitely not does, does not fit into the frame. A malformed outlander of dubious origin, relentlessly preyed upon by bleeders and bogflies, these creatures are eager to release their rage on a hapless inquisitor. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, Eternal Guard. Oh, yeah. Those one you, for sure. <clears throat> a devotee of the Temple of Eleven that has given over their individual will in service of the temple. Their aging process is nearly halted and they require neither food nor drink, effectively becoming part of the temple themselves. Uh, we had seen this one, yes, of course. Uh, Uros, the Living Will. Oh, okay. Ah, I didn't expect them to be listed separately for some reason. Huh. A great beast, resolute guardian of the Temple of Eleven. The temple was built to honor the gods, but under the leadership of the four guardians, a new directive emerged. Namely, uh, Tenur Val Valorous Blade, an unparalleled master of the greatsword. She was famously pragmatic. She? Okay, wouldn't have guessed. She was famous, famously pragmatic, and those who chronicled her are keen to note uh, her role in the path chosen by the two that embarked. The two that embarked. So there used to be four? Wait. Was that some mentioned somewhere recently? Um, under the leadership of the four guardians. Ah. Okay, so there were the two that embarked and the two that that uh, remained? Or... What was the, the name for the boss fight? The two that remain? I guess. Huh, I wonder if we're going to encounter the two that embarked. Or if they are, they're somewhere far away. Uh, Cle Clefton? Soldier? Oh. A foot soldier of the Clefton clan, which had in recent years become the most numerous of fur clad clans. Okay. I mean, those definitely look very similar to the other clan. And that's a burnt Clefton. One of the Clefton clan most populous among the fur clad who succumbed to the ravaging effects of haze. Yep. Temple Highblade. The reanimated corpse of a monk of the Temple of Eleven. T tireless devotees of the gods, they serve now in undeath. Alright. Yeah, and these jerks. Man. Looking forward to dealing with more of those at some point, but for now, it's back to Ashbourne Village. And I guess I'm gonna head down to the caves first to ride the very first. the very first uh, current that we ever saw. Do I remember what the fastest way would be? Not really. I guess down this way? It should be easy enough to find. I'm just gonna try to basically avoid all enemies <laughs> as much as I can. Is this right? I guess so. Yeah, it should be. <clears throat> hey there. You are unfortunately too low level to possibly drop anything useful for me. Obviously. Because I'm basically only... Basically only need... Clusters at this point. I suppose I could technically... Consider upgrading to something new at some point. Um, I actually want to be above, no die. What? Oh, hey, you, you're here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, I could maybe upgrade or switch to a different crafted set, but I just haven't seen anything that seemed outright better. Oh, is this literally all there is? Just as one item. Oh, this item, and I guess another hunt. Hmm. A bat. Wait, no! I was distracted by the bat and I didn't. 
I didn't see what I picked up. Don't do this to me, game. What did I find? Oh, no, it's not in. It's not in the list because. Oh wait. No, that's the cloth. <sighs> that's annoying. What could it possibly be? Probably some materials. It was purple, wasn't it? God, I don't. I'm not even sure. I mean, it's not equipment, so it has to be materials, right? It has to be. Unless it was just salt. Either way, um, I guess the main attraction is whatever this is. Ah, nameless. Venomancer. Alright. Well, that should be easy. Um, tier 13, but still, Venomancers have been basically the, the ones that have given me the least trouble. Mask of Aruna? Okay. Well, uh, I think that's just Mosspear Trio. Um, yeah, I don't think that's a cluster. Uh, the tiny icon is kind of kind of hard to tell apart, but yeah. Uh, well, let's uh, might as well hunt this one. Not sure if on camera, but well, depending. Well, I suppose it's mostly going to be down in these caves, and the other location I want to check out, of course, is uh, up on the roof of the castle. So basically, the exactly opposite part of this map. That's not how you plunge attack. Mm, do I heal? Yeah, I guess. Wow. Perfect. Oh. Did you just teleport away? You jerk. Wait. Did go this way. <clears throat> ah, yes. Huh. What? Did something hit me? Not a fan of the multiple enemies hanging out here. Okay. With any luck, is this going to be the proper, the official boss fight right here? No, I guess not. Hydromancer too. Oh god, and frogs. Ugh. Get out of here. Relatively high level frogs too, so... Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, what? I guess those things have uh, some amount of splash damage when they... Well, literally splash on the ground. Dude. Also, never mind, I guess the frogs are actually... Hydromancer pet, of course. Pets, and not not that high level, probably. Anyway. What? Stupid door frame. Oh, there we go. Hey. Bye. <laughs> I guess he's not gonna... Let me get away that easily. That's fine. Um, all the way back to the surface, I guess? Oh, that looked close. Felt close. Shouldn't there be a bat here? Who knows? Oh, wrong button. <clears throat> now please stay up here though and don't return to the underground. That would be that would just be me. Just wasting everyone's time. Get out of here. Wow, these things are tanky. There we go. So I'll eat a, eat a berry here. Get it back immediately. Alright. 
Didn't expect to get hit there. There we go. All right. That's neat. Okay, we got the poison bubbles, which are really rather non-threatening. Oh no! Okay. Got the grapple just barely in time. This might actually be enough. Almost. Okay, there we go. I didn't expect it to be this easy, honestly. What, what was he? Level 12? Something like that? Honestly, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I thought at that level it might give me a little bit more trouble, but no, I guess not. Must pay trio test 3. Alright. The mask, right. Um, that is light armor. Yep, I mean, needless to say, obviously worse than what we have. Defense-wise, defense-wise. A dark mask worn beneath the tricorn cap. While wearing it, your eyes glow with venomous intensity, as if Varuna herself is channeling her hateful nature through your body. And it looks kind of cool, honestly. Too bad it's not great. Yeah, <laughs> too bad this thing is just about the best we have. Oh well. Oh, well. Um, castle roof. I guess. For that, we want to head all the way over to the left and up from there, from that most recently unlocked set of shortcuts. I keep thinking that... I keep thinking the, the ramp begins here somehow. Even though that makes no sense. Wow. Nice one shot in the air. I like it. Oh, come on. Okay, I jumped over the invisible trigger. I like it. Oh, you really can't grab that that upper one. From the floor. You have to take the, the first one. Alright. <clears throat> Grab the checkpoint, because you never know. Well, obviously, there are all kinds of ways to die up here, potentially. Falling, for example, is definitely, definitely up there. In an area like this. Not to mention that we might run into, I don't know, maybe maybe a boss somewhere at the highest level here. I think we want to go even higher. This is so awkward. Getting, actually getting the, well, the grapple prompt for the, for the upper thing is, yeah, there we go. It's kind of tricky. Okay, we should be on the right track here. Yes, perfect. Activate this. Um, don't mess it up, ideally. And... Oh! Oh, crap! Right, we want to actually continue up that way. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Can we get back up? Hmm. Can we even start from this side? No, that's... no. <sighs> okay. Yep, I'll have to do this one again. Nope, oh, ah, okay, could have grabbed it there. I well, suppose that works. <laughs> not sure what the intended way to do and to handle that is. Certainly not what I just did, but I don't know. It works, I guess. It's not pretty, but so long as it gets the job done. Right, so actually, I want to continue here. Ah, yes, I actually remember. There was that. Um, platform at the end, which is surrounded by, like, four of these guys? Thankfully, they're one-shots, I guess, so... It shouldn't be that bad. Yep, in fact, it's literally right here. Okay, it's only three. <laughs> not, that's not that bad. Yeah, and again, one-shots. Whoa, I don't know how that missed me. Honestly, wow, or that. Uh, could you please get down to my level, sir? Yep, that works. Okay, and we did this all for Champions set. Okay. I think it looks kind of cool, but I could have 
possibly be good. Heavy armor. I mean, I suppose armor isn't necessarily inherently better just because it's crafted. Because crafted armor doesn't come with any magic. That's that's basically what sets crafted and, and found weapons apart, right? That crafted ones always have built-in special attacks. Plus, they also seem to be just a lot better. Uh, with armor? I don't know. I guess that's not necessarily the case. I mean, upgraded to the proper level. I mean, this is class 5 heavy armor, of course. And it does start with some poise. I guess poise doesn't really go up with leveling, though. So that's probably going to stay where it is. Hmm. I mean, our class 2 light armor here has more poise. And is more lightweight. Well, I guess that's not too surprising. I guess, if anything, it's kind of surprising that the class 5 heavy armor is only one pound heavier. Defense-wise, I mean, I guess the physical is really good. I can definitely see that uh, way surpassing our current armor uh, at the same level. Other resistance as well. Cold is already better. Light is probably going to get there. Fire? Well, I mean, obviously, fire resist on our armor is tremendous, but... Uh, yeah, okay. Poison is better. Dark is also better. All right. Well, I mean, if I was willing, and I'm not saying that I'm not willing to go all the way to class 5 heavy armor, potentially. I could technically see myself using this. Ooh, it's that armor. That looks really cool, actually. It still sucks that we have this terrible-looking helmet, but uh, I could dig this style, for sure. I'm guessing that resistances are somewhat similar between the, the pieces of the same set. Hmm. I mean, some they're more balanced, for sure. There are no, like, complete outliers, like with uh, the elemental sets from Mage Materials. So, I kind of like that aspect. I guess... No, never mind. I was looking at this one, where poison is quite low. Poison and cold. Hmm. I... Well, it's worth considering. I don't really have anything else to really work towards in terms of, you know, unlocking skills. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm going to try to make my way to a class 5 heavy armor. And I'm assuming these level up with regular uh, Ashpeer, which I should have quite a, quite a lot of. Yeah, neat stuff. And we can kick down the ladder, even though we probably will never have a reason to go back up here again. Well then, um, that was that. Certainly no boss, and actually a lot less to do than I somehow expected. But uh, that's fine some neat stuff. Well, I mean, I'm not really sure what I got down in the cave, except for the unlock, or for the, for the mage hunt, even though it was just a nameless one. Yeah, um, well, for now, I, I'm not aware of anything else to do here, so if you remember something that I forgot, uh, feel free to let me know, and I'll... Oh, what was that flashing? What was that? What? You saw that too, right? <laughs> I'm guessing just some sort of graphical glitch where something wasn't loaded properly or something? Who knows? Um, anyway, yeah, uh, feel free to let me know and I'm gonna try to return and finish off whatever there might be left to do. Oh, okay, there's something going on actually. Oh, hi. You know, I'm not interested in dealing with you. Oh, wow. That traveled much further than expected. You know, before something goes terribly wrong, I'm just gonna quit out of here. Um, yeah, just just be aware that um, due to me having recorded quite far in advance at this point, um, it might take a while before I can react to any any comments or suggestions or helpful tips. So don't don't think I'm ignoring you or anything. Uh, we don't have anything new to craft, do we? I don't think so. No, we didn't hunt any new mages. We have two new mage types, technically, to hunt down. The Mechanomancer and the Neuromancer, of course. But we haven't hunted them yet. Okay, let's not worry about them for now, then. Yeah, so these do upgrade with Ashpeer, as expected. Let's see, how much do resist resistances go up? Quite a bit. 
I mean, I guess just for fun, because I really don't need the materials for anything. I'm gonna see how far I can take this one. Pretty far, I suppose. All the way to the same level. And now we can properly compare. So, um, yeah, physical, better. Cold, a lot better, obviously. 30, 30 more. Uh, light, slightly better. Fire, not that much worse. I mean, still quite respectable. Poison, obviously, a lot better. Dark, twice as good. Uh, more than twice as good. So, yeah. If I had the skill, I would obviously use this one in a heartbeat, especially since I can I can use it without um, being more encumbered than I currently am. Uh, so, yeah. And, I mean, the, the same should be true for the other armor pieces as well, so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade them as far as I can. Because why not? It's not like I need the ash pearl for anything else. Of course, unfortunately, I can't upgrade them fully. Well, now for the for them helmet. I mean, I would really like to use something other than the Hydropod head, but this one's definitely not going to be as good, right? There is no way. Well, but again, there's no reason not to upgrade it now, so... Uh, 35, 20, 31, 13, yeah, 17, 13, 19, 12, 35, 19. Yep, unfortunately, this does not even get close, as expected. Oh, well. Um, that's fine, I suppose. And I did check in the meantime, and there is no way to hide the helmet. And no mention of any mods that do that. In fact, I found no mention of any, any kind of mods for, for this game. I guess it's still kind of new, and I don't know how easy it would be to mod, or how possible even, because it's online and, and all that. There's uh, an anti-cheat program built in, so... Yeah. Um, right, I guess that is that. Yeah, that is that. Let's see, 27 minutes? Yep. Seems about right. Uh, we can level up once. Maybe take one step toward that final skill of, uh, or the, rather the next skill level of uh, heavy armor. I mean, the final rank alone will cost three skill points, so we're still kind of far away. I guess I could refund a bunch of points if I really wanted to. Can upgrade this. Next one is going to take two. So we need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points, which I could all refund. Do I want to? I mean, I kind of do, honestly. We have all the refund points we really need. I mean, why the heck not? I can always invest more points into these later, right? Six, so three more. What else can I easily lose here? I invest it in this. Well, some stamina. I kind of want to keep that. Did I invest in some surplus endurance somewhere? Or is that all from what I put into into heavy armor? Yeah, that might be the case. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean, I'm missing exactly the final skill there. Hmm. I mean, technically, huh, I could refund this one for now. It's gonna take my damage down a little bit, but I'll get it back. And we don't have any magic that requires a skill level, so, you know. Alright, now we have, I mean, we have a 44 uh, carrying capacity. I'm actually surprised we didn't drop to, uh, to the next lower level of encumbrance already, but, well, no such luck, I guess. Yeah, so fire goes down, but everything else goes up quite significantly, actually. That is nice. Nice to see those numbers. Okay, light drops, I mean, insignificantly, and fire actually doesn't drop significantly either from this one and everything else. Gets at least a slight boost, and obviously we're not done upgrading these. Yeah. That's a much more, much, much more even spread of resistances. I like it. Also, the set looks awesome. Really happy with that one. Yeah, nice. <sighs> if only we had a non-terrible looking helmet. Did I actually ever look at 
the helmet for the set? I guess I didn't, huh? Maybe better that way, because <laughs> otherwise I might be tempted to just use it, even though it's worse. Let's go for Runa. Um, this one came kind of close, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. We could actually equip something that does drop us to a lower level of encumbrance. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Where? Okay. 184 physical. What drops us the least? Everything. Uh, I mean, this one? Yeah, okay. Our set helmet that we were using before. I guess I might actually be able to upgrade this more. Hmm. But we're also losing a lot of poison resistance, actually. Uh, yeah, quite a bit. Hmm. This one's not terrible, but it's also not light enough. Yeah, this one isn't either. So how much... Okay. I mean, if I invest in just a little bit more endurance, I guess, I could technically use this one. Not that I want to use this one specifically. Um, let's see. Butcher's Mask. Which is a proper helmet, actually. Um, oh, this one here. Champion's Cowl, of course. I mean, I suppose it's not that much worse, but it's also kind of heavy. Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I could basically use whatever, and I would probably be fine. I mean, my armor, is, my armor and resistances are pretty good. Probably so good that I don't really need to worry about, you know, 10 points more or less. So I guess I could technically, if I really wanted to, just go for whatever looks best. And ideally also puts me into bright yellow endurance or encumbrance. <laughs> the Butcher's Mask, I don't know about that one. This one does look cool. It's not that good though. Eye patch. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not, not even real armor, technically speaking. Ah, uh, tough, I don't know, I'm, I guess, maybe this one? Uh, it doesn't really fit, though. <sighs> Fashion. It's important. I hope you realize. Ah, that does look good. Hmm. Ah, right, <laughs> this one has the disadvantage of not actually putting us into yellow encumbrance. Kind of silly then. This one would. <laughs> but that also looks ridiculous. <sighs> I guess you can't have it all. You either look stupid or you're well protected. At least in the head. I'll take the eye patch just so I can pretend that I could technically look like this. I mean, not that my face is much of a of an improvement compared to any helmet, but... Ah, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to this. It was nice to dream for a moment, but... Uh, yeah. It wouldn't have felt right. At least the armor is uh, a definite improvement and looks great. So, you know, that's something. Two embarked and two remained. So go the old tales. Huh? Those who remained did so out of duty to the Eleven, for who would defend the temple in their absence? And so the Inquisition marches on. Okay. Anything else? Nope, that's just that. Huh. Uh, we haven't reported back to the king in a while, although I suppose um, he or his... Uh, wherever he is. Oh, the guard is gone. Oh, they're gone, in fact. Did I take too long? Surely not. Ecclesial stuff, okay. Um... Ceremonial head worn by an uh, Arch Hierophant of Alterstone Kingdom. Uh, the Arch Hierophant, or Arch? Uh, Arch, right. Arch Hierophant oversees the kingdom and all matters related to proper worship of the gods. All right. Uh, ceremonial vestments of the Arch Hierophant of Alterstone Kingdom. To ascend to the station of Arch Hierophant requires a lifetime of intense study, a mastery of rhetoric and philosophy, and a keen aptitude for playing politics. Uh, the most 
hard and fast rule administered by the religious arm of the kingdom is the rule of threes. For every three parts received, one part must be given to the gods. I thought we heard about a different rule at some point. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. That's not what I meant to do. Now, the station of Ark Hierophant has long been a difficult role to fill, requiring administration that finds balance between the ever-shifting customs of the kingdom and what is demanded by the gods. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's uh, neat, I suppose, some extra lore, but... Hmm. Where could the king have gone? I thought they were waiting for me to find them a way to that cop's place for a healing. For a chance at healing. Oh! Hera's gone. What? Wait. What's going on here? She was... Surely she was here when I came back, right? Uh-oh. You're still here. What's on your mind? Uh... I tell you what, I could smell those Fungalmancer rounds. Still talking about the Fungalmancer, huh? It's kind of old news at this point. Um, can we do anything at all? Anything with anything? Just in case I actually did pick something up uh, from that one pickup location. Um, I don't know. That, I mean, that's new, but I'm not sure where I got that. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Doesn't seem like we got anything. Um, I'm kind of worried about Hera being gone. She might not have been there when I when I walked back, and I just didn't notice. Nothing new here. Nothing new here. I haven't checked my own tent in forever. Well, it's filling up with trophies for sure. But there's still plenty of room. Yeah, I mean, at least... Well, I don't know exactly where pieces will fit. On top of all those poles in the background, for example? But what about the one in the foreground here? Hmm. Well, there's no telling. There's at least one, two, three, four shelves, I guess. And then two spaces on the tables in the foreground, but on top of that any number could fit in other places, so who knows how many more types of mages there are to find. Hmm. Well, okay, so there are things happening here, and I'm not entirely sure what to make of those. But that's okay. Actually, want to stitch away this thing here. Okay. Well, you're still up there. You're still here. Talk. Nothing new. Heard that you felt the matriarch of Corvus's mire. Uh, yeah, a while ago. Who right to that? I say. Okay. Anything else? Great to see you back. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna move on, I suppose. Uh, next stop, Bolgaran, and I think I know roughly where the one air current is that I remember. Uh, I did talk to her, right? It's somewhere above. <laughs> That's quite vague, but... Oh, hi there. Don't mind if I pick that real quick. And this. Bye, guys. Don't worry about me. I think what I'm looking for might be on the other side of... Oh. This place, basically. Okay, a two-shot. I'll take it. There's another one here, though. Isn't there? Wait. Yes. There we go. Aeromancer. Absolutely no interest in dealing with that guy. Hmm. Wait. Is this the right way? Uh, yes, actually. Wow. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I did find it this quickly. 
Oh. Now, where does this lead? Bluestone mushroom. Ah. Ah, okay. And that finally leads to this ledge here. I guess that's... All that's here, huh? What? What is that shape up there? What is that? Hmm. Do I want to double check? If I can't even find that. It's probably nothing. You just sometimes see certain objects that somehow shine through the through the I don't know through the dark I think it was actually this uh, statue thing in the background there huh I wonder if that has any kind of special significance or if it's just a random graphical glitch or peculiarity that makes that one stand out be visible through the black foreground layer. Oh. I don't know. I have no reason to assume that it's in any way special because obviously it's just in the background. No way to do anything with it. Um, hmm. Now again, I don't remember any other any other vents in this area, but they very much very well might be. Uh, again, feel free to tell me, although chances are that I'm maybe gonna risk a glance at a map of the area just to see Hopefully a relatively spoiler-free one, although I guess it's it's kind of impossible not to not to have spoilers spoilers on a map um, that has you know things marked on it, obviously. Um, but I mean, I, I'm I'm assuming that I've seen almost everything this area has to has to offer at this point. Well, actually, I know that there is one more locked door, right? So I'm gonna try to open that one if my theory is correct or if my if it proves uh, to be true that uh, you can indeed hunt mages in any, any area and that counts toward unlocking uh, all the sealed doors. So, uh, yeah, before I look at the map, I'm definitely going to try hunting at least one extra mage somewhere. And of course, again, we have access to two more at this point. Um, I mean, I suppose I might as well uh, go and try to hunt one of those. I don't know, out of the two that we have available, the Mechanomancer is in that really unpleasant area on top of the tree. And the Neuromancer is in the temple in the latest area. I didn't even try fighting her last time I was there because well, obviously I had other things to worry about at the time. Okay, Hera is just gone. I don't know, that somehow concerns me. I really wonder. I, I must have just missed it. I am also wearing her armor, right? I think? I think that might be her armor. But, I mean, I didn't get it from her or anything. But I wonder if picking that up is what triggered her disappearing, or if she was already gone last time I teleported here after my first visit to um, Redstone Peak, basically. No one's commenting on it, though, so that's kind of weird. Hmm. Two embarked. I mean, Hera apparently embarked. I didn't look everywhere here. Specifically, not down in the in the caves, but I mean, why would she be there? Also, does it really matter that much? I guess not. What do we have here? Anything new? Aeromancer, Electromancer, Hydromancer. Oh, it's not not a ton. This might not have reset since last time I I checked. Although I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, actually, the I hunted a level I think 11, 10 or 11 Electromancer, and there was a higher level one. That might be this one. Still left, but yeah, no chance at clusters, so essentially useless to me. Although I guess we now have um, we can now use uh, some more ash pear trios if we had access to those. Well, not from any of, of these mages here. So I think I want to go after the neuromancer simply because I don't feel like uh, returning to that verdant night area. Right, right now. Also, I'm curious. I guess in, in hindsight, I mean, I decided to just 
go to the right here for no particular reason, but I mean, in hindsight, it made a lot a lot of sense to actually ascend the mountain, right? Because we were looking for that mountain sanctum, mountain temple. So, uh, yeah. In that regard, I guess it was... Uh, if I had had to guess, and if I had actually thought about it logically, uh, I would have probably assumed that, uh, you know, progress and thus the uh, key item we were looking for was probably going to be to the right up the mountain. But I re really wasn't thinking about that at the time. Anyway, it turns out that we wouldn't have been able to do anything here anyway. But now we can, so that's great. Might as well check that out real quick. Oh, wrong button. Oh, okay, right button, but somehow um, all of that happened. Oh. Oh god. Now I'm starting to mix up my triggers. Can you please grab the air current? Thank you. Yeah, let's try that again. Here, we press that button. Here, we press the other one. Um, and grapple again, and I guess I can just hold down the, the block button, basically, and I'll automatically latch onto... Oh, that's crumbly. I'm dead. Wonderful. I heard the sound, but I didn't, <laughs> didn't realize quickly enough what was happening. Ah, well, I guess the good news is that my salt pile, such as it is, it's right here. Oh, you're... You take three hits. Alright. Right, and... As I said, I can just actually hold down block button and I will automatically fly when there is a, an air current. So that's convenient. Oh, or not. As in that case, okay. Not sure why that didn't work. Um. There we go. Wait. Two ways to go, huh? Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Two remained, two embarked, yes. Pilgrims striking through the dark. Elder cops, abyssal fane. Two embarked and two remained. Uh, nice little poem. Two remained. Oh, you! You again. You again. Yes, me again. I'm sure you're familiar with the song I was singing. You are, aren't you? I mean, I am now. <laughs> I just slew two of them. <laughs> Perfect answer. You saw the two that remained, and you cut them down? I mean, I wouldn't have if they hadn't attacked me first. But yes. If that's true, they must have been but shadows of the former glory. Of their former glory. Or maybe I'm awesome? Excuse me? That's at least a possibility, although you're probably right. Or perhaps that was always a myth. Hmm. The two that embarked sought different answers. One in the abyssal fane, where limitless power awaits. The other in the elder copse, where the gods' presence is felt. Okay. Uh, good to hear that they're probably not together. So if I encounter them, they're probably going to be... Uh, Single boss fights. Two remain and two embarked. Gleaming steel, the mortal's mark. Vessel of unending pain. Two embarked and two remained. I think I know of a way to the Elder Corpse, Inquisitor. But it's secret. Quite secret. Well, would you tell me? What? You know of a way, but you're not telling. Hmm. Not sure if I want to be friends with you anymore. Oh, Sentinel Caves. Well, we might have a change of plans here. What is that? What was that sound? Hello there. Uh, what the heck are you? Okay, easy to kill. Unless you were already damaged. What the heck? What was that? What? Oh, there's a an almost invisible... Sometimes actually invisible fl floating... I don't know. Squid thing. Huh. Okay. Grapple point, that's good. 
there's, uh, there's something below. How would we get there? And, and there is a door, a doorway of some sort. How would I possibly... I cannot drop down through here, by the way, in case you were wondering. What are you fighting? Oh, you're not just a one-shot. You were damaged before. Gotcha. Uh, you guys... Oh. Okay, that worked somehow. Not gonna question it. Um. Come down here, maybe? Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, I kind of want to figure out how to get to that ledge. Unless you just emerge from there at some point. Suppose there's also this way. Okay. Huh, this one was a again a one-shot. What? Huh. We, uh, we're finding new types of ore here, so that's interesting. I wonder what, we're, what we'll be crafting from that. Oh, hi there. Guild zombie. Um, is there any kind of way? This thing is always gonna... Oh, if I... I pressed the button several times, by the way. But yeah, even if I try to grapple it from slightly above, it's not gonna fling me down there, is it? I'm gonna try. Yeah, I know it's always... And I'm trying to get me to this platform. Hmm. Yeah, not sure about that one. We might just come out from there eventually. Try to keep it in mind. Um. Okay. <laughs> Purple item. Okay. Void pair cluster. That's actually well. I don't know that we need Void Pair, actually. Or do we? Potentially for our um, Dark Elemental weapon. Oh, hi there. Somehow I didn't expect your projectile to get through to me. Which was kind of silly, to be honest. Um, yeah, this weapon we're currently using, actually, should upgrade with Void Pair. Not sure if that's the next thing we need, though. It might actually be, now that I think about it. Oh. Yeah, this is suspicious. There's nothing, though. Hmm. Okay. This keeps going up, and somehow the jump didn't jump, and I thought I might miss that ledge there. <sighs> okay. Shimmering Bud, awesome. It's 11 healing flasks. I like it. This is not going to open from this side. Oh, it is actually opening. Well then. Alright. Oh, that looks suspicious. Highly suspicious, but there isn't a safe point immediately nearby. Unless there's one on this side. Did I hear a heartbeat just now? I thought I did for a second. Hmm. Okay. Double KO. Another new type of ore? Uh, Luma's ore, yes. That was new. Duskin outfit. And... Iron Band Stave. Ooh, okay. A found item with magic on it. Oh. Force Missiles, uses Focus, Forbidden Glyph, alright. A Runic Stave, a favorite among Sages of Alterstone Kingdom. Maybe that's the mage, uh, the Sage starting set? Duskin Hood. Um, yeah, the that Sage did have a pretty necromancery looking dark cloth outfit, didn't they? A soft linen hood, far more effective at protecting the wearer from the elements than from an enemy's blow. Okay. Well, that's neat, but like all of these, probably not of much practical value. Hmm. 
Okay, I mean, that up there might or might not be a boss fight. I mean, actually, if it were um, a non-mage boss fight, the, the boss would already be visible, right? It's only mages that actually only spawn when you enter their fighting area. So, I guess it's probably not a boss. And again, it would be kind of mean if it were, because no checkpoint anywhere nearby. Okay. Alright, nothing here for now. But, I mean, this is definitely gonna be a, a mage arena at some point. Oh, uh, this is... okay. Whew. That could have been really bad. Well, I guess I would probably not have died there, but... Still a bit scary. Alright, uh, so we open this from this side. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Huh. What exactly is this? What is any of this? The Falling Star. Excuse me? What? Three more hearts. Well, well, I mean, we know where two of them are, so it's not actually that far off. And this doesn't open, right? Nope. Of course not. Is this a... I mean, this looks like a ship. But, like, an actual... Or, yeah. An actual wooden ship, though. With huge... I don't know. Steel weights? Anchors of some sort, I guess? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I cannot drop down through this. Uh, it's gonna make... Duncan McDonald, a little bit awkward. It's also a bit of a bit of a climb to get back up here. Also, I did not actually see the stone circle at first. Let's see where that leads us. Okay, not that far away. Uh, blue blossom. Ah, wait, this is actually useful. Never mind. Okay, Temple of Eleven. Specifically the roof thereof. Belly Herb, Soul Shard, okay. Can I activate this? Oh. Okay, got another sealed door. Four more hearts, wow, okay. Ah, okay. I was hoping that this would connect to a place we've been. Specifically, I guess, this this one here. Let me quickly grab this one here. Okay. Nope. Okay, that somehow worked. I was waiting for him to do something to dodge into the wall, but <laughs> then he wasn't doing anything, so I decided to act first after all. Hmm. Okay. Wow, 58 minutes as well. Holy crap. I mean, I guess we've we ended up seeing quite a bit new stuff. Um, and I, of course, skipped entirely over uh, the mire for now in my backtracking. Mostly because I don't actually remember any, any updrafts there. But of course there is also... Well, there... Yeah, there is one mage to hunt. At least one more mage to hunt. And an area to explore, so... Uh, yeah. Or, wait. What was actually stopping me from going... F from continuing on the... On the top right? Right of... Uh, to the right of the top of the tree. Now that I think about it. I might actually have to rewatch my video of that. Was that an updraft there? Or, yeah. That I couldn't use at the time? Hmm... I mean, it must have been something. Obviously, it, does, it couldn't possibly connect to to the left-hand side, that sanctum. Yeah, so that must be something else entirely. Hmm. Uh, definitely worth checking out again. So, depending on what that turns out to be, once I remind myself, I might return there after all, just to to maybe finish that off, because there are so many so many things to do here. 
although you know I did set out to to hunt down this neuromancer so maybe that's what, what I'm gonna do next time uh, I'll make up my mind I, I guess it depends if I if it turns out that there is actually an air current in uh, in Corvus's mire and that was stopping me from progressing there I kind of want to check that out first perhaps because that might be slightly easier than everything I can still do here other than that well we have a three heart door uh, to get into that ship apparently that's that somehow crashed high up in these in these uh, mountains. Maybe it's not a ship. I don't know. But I mean, what else would it be? Definitely looked like like a ship to me. Um, then of course we have the actual temple to progress further in, and I suppose that's that. Uh, another yeah, somewhere up up above, up these pulley systems. We have the four four heart door. Right. The one heart door at the bottom of the gulch in Bulgaran, which is the only thing I'm aware of that's left to do there. Okay, just again and leaving notes for myself, basically. Um, yeah, next time I, I guess you'll you'll see what I ended up deciding on. Um, not sure yet, but it's gonna be something for the time being. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye. Okay, real quick. Uh, well, we'll see how quick. I just stepped out here and I saw... Yep, that. That right there. Is that a mage? It doesn't look like a mage. I mean, I guess all the other mages so far have looked quite different as well. That's def... Uh, I mean, I say definitely, or I was about to say definitely, but... That might very well be... A type of mage? <laughs> or maybe... I mean, both of those things looked like... Look more like demons, if anything. Hmm... Okay, I was, I mean, I was just about to leave, I just, I don't know why I decided to head over in that direction at all. Uh, okay, interesting. Little turrets that they summon. Ooh. I mean, I'm probably gonna die here, but I figured I might as well check out these new enemies that suddenly showed up here. Demon Fang, okay, so, definitely demons. Not even subtle about it. Now, of course, this is the less demonic looking one. Well, not this one, the one that just teleported away again. The actual, like, super demon looking one just ran off who knows where. And then we have. What are you? Some other type of mage? More traditional looking, looking mage of some sort. That's... Have we seen that one? Please. What, what the hell even are you? I'm trying to check out new enemies here. Well, you are a new enemy, I suppose. These weird insect monstrosities. Wow. Okay. Things are getting intense here. Uh, what was this one while well, I'm here? Okay, one more hunt for this one as well. Huh. Well... Um, not sure that I want to hunt any of these new creatures or... Okay, well, here's the Neuromancer. You know, no. I just wanted to quickly add this to the to the end of the previous video. Uh, because I had already stopped recording, of course. But um, I'm not going to continue a new episode from here. Or will I? No. These enemies will will be back when, I'm, when I return here. I'm sure. I'm going to just quickly run over this way. Because it seems like the big demon guy... Did not teleport over this way, at least I never saw him again, of course. Hey there, that's rude. Wow, super rude. Stop it. Just want to take a slightly closer look at that guy. Oh, there he is. Okay, wow. Stupid little bug. Okay, lasers. Nice. Is that... Okay, yeah, that's a summoned creature. It's not a... Not a local. Would you... Wow. Fighting on stairs, man. It's not... It's not great. Some of our enemies seem to have a lot less trouble with this situation than I do. Because of course they do. Wow. Wrong way, man. And he teleported somewhere... below. Just straight up below. Hmm. Not even sure where that is. 
if I even have access to that. So here we just walked up the mountain, right? There were no entrances into it. And inside the temple we were basically just staying on the same level and, and going up for the most part, so wherever that big guy just teleported might be past that sealed door. If there's a path that leads downward. So, even if I wanted to, I guess I can't follow him for now. Which might be for the better. Yeah, anyway, so that's uh, interesting. I guess a sneak peek for one of these next times, although I guess the plan is to do some backtracking. Uh, so, once again, I guess... Um, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave, leave a comment, and I shall see you uh, real soon. For real this time. Bye-bye.